Uh, my name is Dave Eulen. I've lived on boats full time probably since 1964. I resist giving the government money, a fee, for anchoring because they waste it so much and I don't have that much to spare. There's a big conflict here. These boats don't want to follow any of the regulations, they don't want to pay, and they don't want to sign a lease. The issue with Eagle Harbor has been going on for many years, as probably members of the community and the council are more aware than I, but the situation needs to be resolved. It's some line between being homeless and having a boat that basically has no value. My boat is a 1968 South Coast 25-foot sloop. And Two then, inches of styrofoam, insulation everywhere. I can keep that boat warm practically with the candle. And on the edge of that is somewhere called uh, being a sociopath, where they just don't want to participate in any sort of society. Being out there in the water, it's a sanctuary, it's a haven, it's a magical place, it's a special place. There's no political will to enforce the regulations. My organization was tasked to try to get the state to enforce their own regulations because individual owners of the marinas and the individual owners of the property on the other side of the bay didn't want to be the bad guy. These developers come and put these condos everywhere and the yuppie people, they don't want to look at the derelict boats and the poor people clogging up their harbor. I've seen several times a quote by Gandhi saying, be the change you wish to see in the world. Well, I've always lived that way, but now the local government, the state government, DNR, they are about to make it illegal for me to live as I wish the world to be.